P0300. This means you're getting a random misfire in your engine. Don't start worrying yet. We are going to be giving you some simple solutions to try and a list of other causes that don't have anything to do with engine failure. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. P0300 is a random misfire. The random portion means that it's two or more cylinders in your engine that are misfiring. That's the major difference between P0301 or P0302. In those cases, it's talking specifically about the first or second cylinder. And since this code is P0300 and it's a random misfire, it also means that it could be happening on any engine size. Now, let's explain what a misfire is. At its core, a misfire is the desynchronization of the combustion cycle within your engine. And unless your car is made before 1980 or you're riding a dirt bike, your car has a four stroke combustion cycle. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So your cylinder intakes the fuel oxygen mix. The piston compresses that mix. The spark plug ignites the mix to give power. And finally, your cylinder is opened to release the exhaust. And combustion requires three elements, oxygen, fuel, and spark. The intake stroke introduces oxygen and fuel, and the power stroke provides a spark. If any of these three components are messed up, the process gets out of sync, and you get this error code. Now, there are a lot of reasons for a misfire, but we are going to start with a few of the simplest. First, it could be multiple spark plugs. Spark plugs can be fairly inexpensive, as little as $10, but depending on your vehicle, it can be even up to $100. As with anything, the part that gets you is the labor which can be anywhere from $40 to $60 per spark plug. So if you have the ability to check and replace those plugs yourself, try that first. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always ask someone who's handy with vehicles. They should know how to replace those spark plugs pretty easily. Second is going to be that air-fuel mixture. Your engine needs a very specific mixture of fuel and oxygen. So if there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the car, it could not be getting enough oxygen for that mixture. In this case, it can be a crack or a leak in the hose or really any other air component issue. And the good news, this is usually another less complex issue that doesn't hurt your wallet too much. The third option is going to be the fuel side of the mix. This usually has to do with a fuel injector or a fuel filter. Between the two, we suggest changing those fuel filters first because this is usually a cheaper fix around $20 to $60 without the labor. Whereas the injector is electric and is a little bit more complicated piece of machinery and it can be anywhere from $600 to $1,100 for the parts alone. Our simplest option is the battery, and let's pray it's the battery. Basically, your battery can be strong enough to start your vehicle, but not strong enough to keep up with the spark cycle within your engine. Again, this can be a super easy fix, and if you have the fix sensor, you can actually do it within the app. Every new battery should read about 12.8 volts when the car is off. And luckily, that's how the fix sensor reads your vehicle's battery. If it's below 12.8 or maybe even 12.6, there's a chance that it's the battery causing those misfires. If you're using another tool and you're running the test while the car is on, it should read between 13.7 to 14.7. If it's below that 13.7, the same could be true and it could be causing the misfire. But there's good news. Even if you don't know cars, it's super simple to change your battery. Yes, even you. And we made a video to show you how easy it can be. For all the other problems, we included some helpful links below in the description, so make sure to check those out. Now, just like other error codes, there are plenty of other possibilities for what's causing this problem. From spark plug wires to ignition coils, to bad fuel, any air intake components, or even mechanical issues. The four causes mentioned before, in our opinion, are the easiest to fix and the most common. So check those first, either by yourself, with a friend, or with a trusted mechanic. Don't have a trusted mechanic? You can check out our free app and look up local trusted shops. Don't have any friends? You can check out this helpful video here. Changed my life. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. Cheers and happy driving everyone.